Good morning everybody and once again welcome back to the video. In this video we are going to talk about maximizing efficiency in data lake ETL jobs with templated approach and serverless architecture. At our organization we have adopted a templatized approach for managing ETL jobs in our data lakes with multiple tables. This method has proven to be a very effective uh, such as you know writing ETL jobs for each individual table, you know, then writing infrastructure code for that. And with this template as approach and this framework, we are able to essentially ingest a lot of tables in a very short amount of time. So let's take a look at the solution, right? So the solution is um, pretty straightforward. Um, we have a Swagger UI and again, I'm going to show you everything in action. We have a Swagger UI through which the user can essentially create a job and the job details are stored on the DynamoDB. Once the cron fires, which is through an event bridge rule, it fires up a Lambda function. The Lambda function reads the metadata from the DynamoDB, fires the glue job with those parameters. Uh, these glue jobs are templates. Again, uh, we have templates for JSON, CSV, Parquet, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, and again, uh, makes it really, really easy. And each template uh, will ingest data incrementally into uh, our transactional data lake then any time a job fails, we essentially publish those alerts on an SNS and people can receive uh, email alerts. Not only that, in this framework, we also have baked in uh, the transform logic, which means now some ETL jobs might need a certain transformation. So basically we baked in a simple SQL based transformer here, meaning you can simply supply a SQL query uh, again, and this SQL query will take the data. After reading the data, it will basically transform the data and then essentially perform an upsert on the transactional data lake. Let me show you all this in action. Show you the complete demo. I have a sample uh, um, S3 bucket. Here I have a folder called raw and inside that I have two folders, customer and order. Again, there could be hundreds, there could be literally thousands of table and this framework makes it really, really easy to ingest data. Now let me show you the steps here. Let's take a look at the Swagger UI interface now. So I'm gonna share my screen quickly. All right, so this is the Swagger UI where the user can fire jobs, where the user, user can create a new ingestion job. Again, this is uh, how the payload looks like. I'm gonna walk you over the payload shortly. So the payload is pretty generic, right? So the payload basically is uh, you provide a flag whether the job is active or not, who created that, when would you wanna schedule this, the, the template name, right? The, the glue job template name, the Lambda function, because the cron is gonna fire a Lambda. And uh, again, uh, the, the Lambda will read the metadata from Dynamo and it's gonna fire the, the, the glue job. These are the glue job payload. Again, these are just some parameters. So let's take a look at that. So currently, if I go to my DynamoDB, I do not have anything over here. As you can see, dev.glue.metadata, I do not have anything. If I go back and if I now execute, I got a response 200. If I go back to the DynamoDB, refresh here, and here you can see uh, a new job has been created, an ingestion job. Here you can see these are all the job parameters, right? This is when the job is gonna schedule, uh, right? Who created that, uh, whether this job is active or not. Currently, this job is not active, so it is marked as false. Uh, if we go back to the event bridge and if we come here, here you can see uh, glue job fire customer. So automatically it created a rule on the event bridge and these are the, this is, a, this is when the, uh, it's gonna fire that Lambda function, right? So if you take a look at the, the, at the, at the, at the payload for the, for the event bridge, here you can see a, a JSON payload. So this payload is passed to the Lambda function and the Lambda function basically queries DynamoDB with this particular primary key and this particular sort key gonna grab all the job parameters and essentially pass to the glue job. So hopefully this uh, process makes sense, right? Now, the important thing to take care here is again, when we are ingesting data for similar uh, uh, file formats, for example, JSON, CSV or Parquet, right? Some tables might need some transform transformation. So thinking that into account, we essentially baked that also into the template, meaning we incorporated a SQL based transformer logic. So here you can see, uh, I'm gonna show you a small a sample here. So for example, that customer table that you can see, right? So here is the job name, whether we wanna use a hoodie cleaner, the hive sync, partition, the glue database that we need to create the hoodie record key and the precom key, the year, the month, the day, the source as raw is gonna create a hoodie table in the silver zone. And here you can see the SQL based transform, transformer, which means when you set this to true, you can transform the data, right? So basically uh, extract, transform and load, right? So select star, so which means select everything from the data, extract year from the TS column, extract month and extract day from that. 
uh, from the temp, right? So basically this means we can also easily do transformation on the data. So all we need to do is in the payload, we just need to provide the SQL query uh, that we need to, uh, that we want to transform the data and that's pretty much it. So we can define the source, we can define the target, we can use a SQL query to transform the data. And this is how we rapidly ingest data into hoodie transaction data, like multiple tables, right? Uh, so let me share my screen back. So thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you have enjoyed the video. And uh, pretty soon we are gonna write uh, a detailed article uh, including every single step so that you can adopt this and extend the functionality if needed.